Prophet Ishmael is a young um, minister of the Lord, a prophet, who God has sent in this end time to preach his word and also speak the mind of God to his people, especially in the area of salvation. So, uh, how long have you been into ministry? Um, I've been in ministry for the past 12 years. And what are some of the things you can boast of having been propagating the word of God? Well, by the grace of God, the Lord has used myself in uh, many, many areas, in many, many nations. Um, I have preached the word um, to many people. By the grace of God, too, we have gone to places to help people to stand on their feet, which is part of our vision as a church, that um, helping the fallen Christians to mount at ways like eagle. Um, in the area of um, prophecies, and the Lord has spoken to me, on several several things and by the grace of god we have seen it manifesting uh, in this end time i mean he spoke to me about nations he speaks also to me about individuals and uh, sometimes even families and uh, by the grace of god we see all coming to pass uh, by the power of god you are the founder of uh, encounter uh, with Christ Jesus. Christ Jesus. exactly yes uh, and i understand you have a ministry uh, the exactly. What's the difference between uh, encounter and uh, Thank you. Um, encounter with Christ Jesus Chapel is the is the ministry, the church, but uh, with Ishmael's ministry, it's how to be me, we be with me, the individual, trying to reach out to those the church cannot reach out to, especially to those who believe some way or in a code they believe that um, before you have to get to this place you need this you need that you have to pay some consultation you know there are people i really want to relate with uh, um, and personally not uh, in the area of church but in the area of uh, ishmael's ministry when you have to do this ishmael ministry, you have to be me as the individual going to them and not even waiting for them to come to me for help but we reaching out to them and helping them to stand on their feedback um, yes, from my point of view, I would say it is wrong. Because the Bible said that freely I give and freely you shall also give. Anything we have is from the Lord. And I don't think the Lord really uh, uh, requires something from us before he gave to us. He gave to us free and freely I believe we shall also give to those who need it. How do you classify other pastors who collect Well, uh, um, let me be very honest. Uh, I don't want to be in the position of a, a judge. But I would say that um, um, I want to talk about my side. And um, if I have to talk about my side, I see it as wrong uh, um, going for and then taking uh, something from somebody. And um, by the way, the person coming to you, first of all, you must understand that the person needs help. So if you understand that the person needs help, then automatically you know that the person doesn't have what it is to give. So if somebody needs help and I'm trying to drag from the person, uh, he has a, 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 a different understanding altogether. Um, the program we are coming out is a very wonderful program that um, the Lord spoke to me about. It's about reaching out to all those people who need help the help of God. And by the grace of God, some of us have availed ourselves. Myself, my dad, uh, Dr. Lauren Stete, um, Reverend Dr. Ampia Kofi also, availed themselves to bless the people and then uh, reaching out to the needy. So that is what exactly we want to do. We realize also that um, uh, now Christianity has become like church, 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 church. But when you talk about Christian, it's an individual affair. You know, it's an individual affair, but it has become like church. We are also bringing this program up for all Christians to join together as one voice and then to uh, um, cry out unto the Lord for help. And this is one of the things which is really, really my heartbeat, that Christians will come together, unite together, and have one mind, one spirit, and also have one voice that we can speak what we have to speak unto the Lord. Um, no, it's not going to be a yearly program. It's going to be a quarterly program. Yes. You can see you have some, you have my Well, um, I put those people on board because I realized that the same vision that God gave to me, they have similar vision. And the Bible said that can two go on a journey unless they agree. I realize that with them, we can agree to achieve the, or to accomplish the, the mission. So that's why I brought them on board. So what do you aim to achieve at the end of the day? Well, we are believing God that at the end of the day, we are believing God to uh, and give people their expectations. That's the first thing. And then uh, to get people to understand and also to give their life to Christ. And on that day, which people are 
Um, believe we are targeting everybody. <laughs> we are targeting everybody. Um, in the area of God, I believe. See, there is this thing we need to understand. Um, you, 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 you might be rich in a particular area, but in that particular area too, you might be poor. So nobody has it all. Somebody can be rich in the area of money, but in the area of maybe prayer or uh, um, uh, um, healing, the person needs it badly. So you cannot say the person has it all. So I wouldn't say I have a class of people I'm looking at, but I'm looking out for everybody who believes that he needs the hand of God in their life, in which area, I don't know, but uh, believe me, we are there to make sure that God will touch you. So when, when is the event coming out? Where is it? Um, the event. Sorry, the venue is coming out at the um, um, National Theater. National Theater, and uh, is is going to be an explosion. Why National Theater? We wanted a place that everybody will feel comfortable, and I don't want it to to be under a chair so that it will be as if we are trying to. You know, people have some mindset. It's funny, by the way, and, and that's the truth. The truth is one. I don't want it to be like um, um, people thinking we are we are doing this to to gather people to start a church, or we are gathering people to to build up a church. No, no, at all. So what I'm trying to say here is that. It's something that is uh, in English now. You can come, have your healing, and go back to your church. Nobody is dragging you to join anybody's church. Okay? It's something that we are believing God that this program, we are going to reach out to those who need the hand of God, and the hand of God will descend upon them. And that is why I'm bringing by the grace of God these wonderful, powerful fathers who are the seasoned men mm -hmm. of God now And great father time. of the land, Dr. Lawrence Tete, who we are believing God that he's coming to really bless us with the grace and the power of healing and um, over these years and all these years this great man this father has been a very great impact has made a very great impact in this land in uh, whatever you are i don't I, I don't care about the sickness i don't know what sickness has been with you for years but i know listen i have seen this man pull legs i have this I have this god using this man to heal the deaf and even the blind seeing Believe me, I don't care whatever you are. Try and get to the place. And believe me, Dr. Lawrence Tete, God will use him to bring a blessing to you. We are also believing to have uh, the ministry of Reverend Dr. Ampia Kofi also, who is a father in the area of apostolic grace. I mean, you know, uh, we all know we can testify of Reverend Ampia Kofi. And what I really love about his, 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 his words and his grace, the man begins to scream and you know that demons are running out of the place. You can't miss it because it, 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 it's, it's a blessing to have such fathers to lay hand on you, to speak a word in your life, that your life will be transformed. All you need is a word against that particular problem. May I use this word or may I say, you need a grace to fight this grace. Don't forget, God is about to do something with this great man of God. Catch you.